You're ready to start your Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're a little confused on what program you should or should not be using. And in today's video, I'm going to compare PowerPoint with Canva. I might mention a little bit about Google, but today's purpose is to give you a perspective on which one you might like better and which one you might end up choosing. Hi, I'm Molly and I'm a fifth grade teacher who helps teachers just like you start your own Teachers Pay Teachers store and tutoring business so that you can have extra money to do things like not teach summer school or go on a trip this summer, send your kids to summer camp. So I get this question from time to time in my direct messages and my students inside of From Zero to Cha-Ching know that I go over it a lot more in depth than this video will today but I kind of want to give you just the pros and cons of each from my teacher business perspective and maybe push you in the direction of what's going to be the best fit for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of Canva and what you can do and PowerPoint and what you can do. Inside of From Zero to Cha-Ching, my self-paced TPT course, I do teach you how to use both and I have lessons on making digital products using Google Slides as well. So if after you watch this video, you really wanna go more in depth and start your store, then I'll leave the link below for the course and you can join right away. Okay, I'm gonna start with PowerPoint because PowerPoint is kind of the OG of TPT products. It's how I learned how to make them years and years ago and it's still a really solid choice. So some pros of PowerPoint, you can buy the PowerPoint software and then you have it on your computer. I would urge you to always use your own business computer, personal computer to make TPT products and never use school property for that because you, I'm not a lawyer, so this is not legal advice, but you need to look over your contract and see if there's anything about that. But most schools are going to be a big eh on that. So People will ask me, can I use my school's PowerPoint? Absolutely not. You have to invest it on, on your own. And I don't know what the cost is up front right now, but it's worth the money if you like using PowerPoint. And in my course, I'll show you how to make products using it so you're not just left hanging. And don't think, oh, I'm not a creative person. I can't figure it out. I thought that too when I started. So you're probably just like me and you just need some lessons on how to get going and then you'll be a whiz at it. So one of the pros is that you can buy the software right away, you can start doing it instantly, and it's really versatile. Once you learn how to use PowerPoint, it's insane all the things you can do and all the products that you really can make. Another thing I like about PowerPoint is that you can buy clip art from TPT and you don't have to worry about anything being copywritten or taken. That's one of the things I'll talk about during the Canva part of this video is that people do often worry about that. So just know that if you go PowerPoint, you're gonna have a really solid route to making your products and not having to worry about taking things. Remember that when you buy clip art, of course, you're always going to credit the person in your credits page. I teach you how to do that inside of my course and I give you templates for all of that. So PowerPoint is such a solid choice for those reasons. It's easy to buy, you can download it right away. You don't have to worry about any copywriting issues as long as you're creating things authentically. Some people just really love using it and I still use it to this day for a lot of things and many of my products were originally created using PowerPoint. Okay, so Canva. Canva is kind of all the rage right now and this is primarily what I get the most questions about. I first wanna urge you to go to their user, um, I don't know what the page is called, but I'll put a link for it where you can look and see what their rules and regulations are. First and foremost, if you have a teacher Canva account, you absolutely cannot use that to create TPT products. Your school district has bought that for you. You cannot mix your business with your school. It's just not a great idea. I would never, never tell someone to do that. So if you're going to get a Canva account, I would urge you to get your own Canva Pro and invest in that. So cost comparison wise, PowerPoint and Canva Pro are gonna be pretty similar. It's an investment in your business. You need to start looking at things in your business as an investment. If you are always trying to create everything for free on the cheap, guess what? Your stuff is going to look free and cheap and people aren't gonna to wanna to buy it. I know it's a big leap and it's easy for me to just say that to you to invest in that, but it's a tax write-off. Ask your accountant about it when you purchase things for your business. So Canva Pro is the way to go. Now here's the sticky part where I'm not gonna tell you a definitive answer because again, I'm not Canva's lawyers and I don't wanna get in the mess of that, but you need to look at every 
image and clip art that you're using from Canva and figure out if you can actually use that. A lot of people get really hung up on this step. It's not that hard once you figure out how to do it. Just be careful. If you don't want to worry about the clip art part of it, you can still buy clip art from Teachers Pay Teachers and upload it into your Canva and use it the same exact way. I would definitely urge you to do that if you're even on the fringe of worrying about it. But again, go to Canva's website and look up their user terms and agreements and you will be probably your eyes will cross over, but it's worth looking at. And if you're extra worried about it, I always tell people to consult your own lawyer because people come to me in DMs wanting me to be a lawyer for them. And I'm not, I'm a fifth grade teacher who helps you learn how to make products. I'm not into the legal side of things. So Canva is great though, because there's so many already made templates that you can just use. And a lot of people prefer that over PowerPoint because PowerPoint's not going to come with as many templates. So if you're someone that has a, a better time making something from a template, Canva might be the best option for you. One reason I really like it now as a TPT business owner is that I make everything in there now. So I do all my covers, my previews, and I find that it's just easier to reproduce things than it is with PowerPoint. But I think maybe that's just because I'm on a Canva kick right now. I used to do everything lickety split with PowerPoint. So at the end of the day, you just really have to decide what kind of user interface you want with your TPT product creation process, what you're more comfortable with, maybe play around with both. You could probably do a trial of PowerPoint and I know you could probably do a trial of Canva as well. Don't quote me on that, but check them both out before you make the best decision because I can't tell you what to do. Just know though, again, when you sign up for From Zero to Cha-Ching that you will get lessons on both. So if you change your mind along the way, you're not gonna be left hanging. I'm not gonna teach you one way or the other. I also show you how to do things in Google Slides how to make, one of the biggest questions I ever get is how to make an, a Google slide editable so people can't steal stuff. I teach you how to do that inside of the course. Um, it's too much of an in-depth lesson to do here and it's part of my program as well. So let me know in the comments below, are you more of a PowerPoint or Canva person or are you more of a Google person? I'd love to hear what your perspective is. I hope this video helped you gain some clarity on what's gonna be the best option for your Teachers Pay Teachers store. And remember, this is the best time of year to get your business going. If you're even hesitating right now because you've got worries about what will it be like to start? What, what if I don't know what to make? I help you with all of that inside of the course. And if you start your business right now, it'll be up and running smoothly before spring break and definitely before summer. And wouldn't it be nice to start making money before then so you don't have to spend your entire summer trying to catch up to that point where you're actually having cash coming in. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.